Hi, this is George from Upfish, your marketing automation expert. Uh, welcome back. This video is going to show you how to automate your social media posting. And now I know what you're thinking, George, you've already done quite a few videos on this and there's a million other people on YouTube doing it. Why, why do I need to watch another one? Uh, that's because this one is a little bit different. Well, a little bit different, it's a lot different. This one is a direct follow on from our video series on creating your own artificial CMO using OpenAI. So basically at this stage of our process, what we've done is we've put all of our data into OpenAI, all of the Google Analytics, Google Ads, LinkedIn, blah, 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 blah. And our CMO has told us, these are the actions you should take this week. So if you've not seen the videos already, essentially what happened is we have an automation using our CMO and that CMO is suggesting every week, this is what you should do, instructions and justification. So if you can see here on my screen, one of the actions it suggests me to do this week is social media copy. It's given me instructions for it. It's telling me to develop posts around my video workflow design, start from the end. And it gives me a justification as well. It says this video has a high engagement, 129% increase on average watch time. It's a good thing to do. So what I could do is I could just come in here every week into this YouTube, um, sorry, into this, uh, into this air table, check out the instructions, do it all manually, probably only take me 20 minutes, easy peasy, all good. But I'm an automator, so I want to see if I can automate this so that my CMO, my chief content officer and my chief sales officer and all of my other custom GPTs are just doing pretty much all of the work for me. So this is what made me build this automation. So what happens here, we have an air table, which is searching for just social topics for the week. So obviously I need a different automation to do uh, updates on copy, different automations for ads, different automations for email drip campaigns, blah, blah, blah. Um, it really depends on how you set it up. So just to explain that in a bit more depth, I my business is all about making videos, getting people to watch them. So obviously I'm asking for social media posts about videos. If you're an e-commerce company, you might be asking your CMO, give me a product each week to highlight. Or if you're um, some sort of a services company, you might be asking for, give me a service to highlight each week or a blog post to highlight each week. That's really up to you, your business, how you set up your CMO. For me, it's all about the videos. So my automation is pretty straightforward. I'm asking for the social topic for the week. Um, I'm asking ChatGPT, not an assistant, just a normal ChatGPT, to look at the instructions and from there, glean past, if you will, the, um, the, the video title. That goes into my Airtable to find my, my, where, where all of my video library stored to find that particular video. And obviously in that video library, I'm going to have the, uh, you know, my Gumroad page link, my YouTube link, the, um, the transcript from the original video I made about that particular automation, all of this stuff. My assistant is going to create some social copy. Um, I'm going to pass that information, I'm going to create a product video using type frames. Then I'm going to post it to Social B and then update my Airtable. So just to show you how it would work in full, and then I'll go into each of the modules in sequence to show you exactly what I did and why I did it. So I'll choose where to start, I'll choose all, I'll run once. All right, so <clears throat> this is what it's running, so we'll go back into it. What exactly are we doing? The first one is it's an Airtable searching for topics of the week. So it's picked up my social media copy for the week that hasn't been updated yet. Uh, obviously about the justification here, which is the workflow video design, did high engagement, as we've already discussed, and the instructions. Um, so the next stage is just a normal chat GPT. There's no need for assistance or anything fancy. All I'm doing is I'm saying, here is the text that was delivered to me from my CMO. Based on this information, figure out what the title of the video is. So again, for your company, it might be figure out what the name of the product is or find out what the name of this particular web page is. It doesn't matter um, because it will, you'll have set this up to be specific for your business. In my case, I just wanted to figure out what is the name of the video it's discussing here. Then it's figured it out. Workflow design, start from the end. So it again goes into my Airtable where I have a library of all of the content I produce. Again, you'll have your own one for all of the products you have, all of the products you sell, the services you make, the eBooks you have, whatever, however you set it up. This is looking into that content vault, that database, and it's seeing, do I have one called workflow design to start from the end? Yes. So what happens next? I message my assistant. And now you might be thinking again, George, this is all about making social media, seen it before, messaging custom assistants, seen it before, why is this different? So this one here, okay, I'm asking it to create some social media posts for LinkedIn to promote the video. So I'm giving it the video name from the Airtable record we found. All of the CTAs should have this YouTube link, which again is in the Airtable we found. Um, use the transcription. So in all of my content vault, I have the transcription. So it's using as close to as possible my original voice to make these social media posts. 
And then here, use my LinkedIn writing style doc as the basis for the writing style. And then I've inserted in an ID from a file. I also have here, file IDs attached, ID from a file on YouTube. What is, um, from Airtable, why do I keep on saying YouTube, from Airtable. Um, and then as well, you know, have the normal instructions, make the posts, export it as a JSON. But the main thing here is what is this file I'm putting in? So if I come back to my Airtable, I have here, attached next to social, uh, an open file ID, my LinkedIn writing style doc and the ID attached to it. What is the LinkedIn writing style? Well, we've mentioned in previous videos how we can constantly update files in our Google Drive and um, export them to, to, to OpenAI. So what have I done? I have an automation which every week takes my LinkedIn's posts, it orders them, by the amount of likes they get or the amount of comments they get. So I have like the 10 most popular posts written in my own style. This gets added to a Google Doc. That Google Doc on a weekly basis gets changed to a, a Word DocX, uploaded to my um, uploaded to my open assistant, which means that when I then call on my chief content officer, not only does it have access to my um, my transcript from my video, which is again, all in my own words, just off the top of my head, much like this video. You've, if you've turned off by now, it's because this talking style, this lack of preparation is not very becoming, but it is what it is. In any case, it has access to that stream of consciousness, but it also has access to my LinkedIn writing style, how I write posts and which of those posts are the most popular. So if I come back to the automation, it's taking that information from the LinkedIn writing style, taking the information from my um, from my transcript, and what I'm asking you to do is just create, you know, 250 word LinkedIn post, another 250 word LinkedIn post, and 100 words that will support a video that I'm also making. Again, output this all as a JSON, social post for the week, text one, text two, text three. So what does it return? It returns me some, uh, some, some, some posts. So number one, ever wondered why starting from the end could revolutionize your workflow design? I bought my latest video, workflow design, start from the end based on this very concept. Why? Because reverse engineering your process can drastically enhance efficiency and reduce the need for constant revisions. It's all about pinpointing exactly what you need from the get-go, no more guesswork, no wasted effort, deep dive into the strategy. So again, reading this, it's not perfect. I still need to, just because of this video, the feeder information I've put in my LinkedIn doc, it's a summary of, um, five LinkedIn posts at the moment, because I'm still running that automation to build it out. It's got the basics of it's right. I do like to write in short sentences. I do like to get straight to the point. I definitely don't like to use words like dive deep into the strategy that's shaking up the marketing automation world. I hate that. Opening with a question. Yeah, sometimes I do that, not very often. Um, what about this one? Why settle for less when you can automate it to success? I, I like the rhyme. I wouldn't have done that myself, but I'm not going to say no to it. Key lies in rethinking your approach. My latest villain revels the immense benefits. Yeah, I told her specifically not to use um, adjectives of more than two syllables. I don't know why. I thought that might help, but it hasn't. So you can see it's close enough. It, it's the content it's writing is very specific. It is it is technically accurate. This is what the video is about. So the um, the the sub the, the the transcript from my original video is working well. The structure, the cadence, the rhythm is very similar to how I write, if not the chosen words. So this can definitely be improved as I put in more training data, so to speak. But what happens next? So next, I pass that JSON. So as you can see here, sorry, if I go back to content, I go to text, I go to value. It's given me, uh, you know, squiggly lines, brackets. So I have a JSON parser to turn that into actionable information. That's worked out fine. It's added the YouTube video, added the YouTube link, added the YouTube link, it's added in some hashtags and emojis, great stuff. Next is to create a video. I don't just want text, so I'm using a module called Type Frames, which is a great little tool, well, a great little tool. Um, I usually, uh, let me take a step back. Type Frames is a video um, uh, builder tool. So it's pretty cool. All I need to do is add in a link, so I can add in my YouTube link, and it will go through that video, and it will create a text-based video for me, just you know, quick changes of text. So to just give you an example output of one of these videos, we will click here, take the video URL, open it up in a new tab. So it's the music, there's some line. I've done this in, um, dimensions for mobile phone, but you can obviously, I'll get into how you might change that. Um, so what is the advantage of this? Well, there's two reasons I pick type frames. One of them is because I usually use things like Creator Mate. So we've got some videos already on how to use templates to create videos in Creator Mate. 
We have videos on how to create um, LinkedIn carousels and different tools. This is a slightly different one. You don't need to create a template, which is something a lot of people get back to me on. They say, oh, creating a template for all of this stuff is very annoying. This is just really simple. You just add in a URL, boom, video comes out. The limitation of it, obviously, is that it's just a text-based video. Um, but you can still play around. You can change the audio for it. You can change the speed at which it happens, the size, the width, so you can make the dimensions specific for your particular channel. Um, so it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, normally you would have to make a HTTP call for this, but I found some cool, some cool lads at a company called Go Synergetic, and they have um, what are known as community build-ons. So if I just add a module here and I type in type frames, you'll see here they have things called community invited. So Obviously, things like, just to let you know what this is, things like Airtable, OpenAI, they have modules, anyone can use them. Uh, if you use Make a Lot, you'll see that some, some of your tools don't have um, integration, so you need to get up the API docs, learn how to do it, build it out in HTTP request. Um, and then some of them will have these things here called invited or community or beta. What this is, this is like a third party person who's made a um, like an API bridge, I guess is the best way to explain it. Um, so you don't need to get into the API documentation. So um, let me just um, click it here. Oops, sorry, hang on. Add a module type frame. So you don't have to go into the documentation. They already basically do it for you. Um, so it's, it's quite useful. Um, so this is from a company called Ghost Synergetic. So check out their website, I guess I should mention. Um, so yeah, with them, I can create uh, using type frames a video based on the YouTube link. We've seen the result of that. So now I have the URL for it too. The next stage is to go in the iterator just to separate out the results of this bundle. So now I have uh, text one, text two, text three. And it goes into a router. So one of them, as we see here, is basically just creating a post. So it goes to a, a social bee as my poster. Uh, the reason for this is because I can set it to unapproved. No, part of my workflow is I go into my social bee every now and then just to approve, disapprove posts, make any small edits. It's a lot quicker for me, but you can, if you want it to be totally automated, you can just set it already up to approved, or you can post directly to LinkedIn. So you can just add in a module, for example, here, and let's say you wanted to post to LinkedIn. You could just put it in here, do the LinkedIn, create a user video post, choose your account, which is these is the most recent one, no idea. Okay, I haven't updated my status, but yes, yeah, so you can just um, download the file from the URL and then map the data to LinkedIn to create a post. If you wanted to just go straight into it, same goes for Instagram, same goes for Facebook. I use Social Bee just for my own personal record. So I'll create the post, text one, here we have text two, text three plus the video URL to my LinkedIn profile and the number text two. So I've got two text posts and one video post. And then finally, my Airtable, as always, updates just to change the status from to do to done for this particular social media task. So in resume, after a lot of babbling, what is the result of this? The result is that we have our custom AI assistant, CMO, GPT marketing man, whatever you want to call it, they're looking at all of the analytics every week. They're giving us like seven predefined tasks for social media, for changing ad copy, plus three random tasks that we can't account for. So those can never be automated. Um, if I come back, just to explain what I mean by that, if I come back to here, I have a, a summary of report plus three other tasks this week. If I explode it up, um, I'll use this one as a better example. It's given me some extra tasks to do with A-B testing, some CTAs, uh, analyze session data for my course viewers. So these are things that I can't automate because I didn't think about it. Um, but obviously I can update my custom GPT so that each week it will give me that result. But I have things I do know I want to do every week, social media copy, changing ads if I happen to be running any, changing, uh, you know, creating new videos, doing some outbound for emails, blah, 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 blah. So all of this, because I know the results are happening, I can put in place an automation for each one uh, to automate then the results of that. So in this case, as we've seen, social media, once my CMO has suggested social media tasks, my chief content officer uses a combination of my product information, my website information, copy that exists, transcripts from videos, plus my LinkedIn writing style, which again, constantly updated every week, puts it out onto social media, creates a little video so that there's something interesting for people to watch, and then it's done. So this was a very quick video, not an hour long like the last one. Uh, this is meant to be a sort of a, a palette cleanser, uh, just so I can move on to the next sequence of videos I'm gonna be doing. So I, I hope you liked it. Again, um, if you have any interest in this, just get in contact, like, subscribe, I think it's the first thing I have to say to my channel. Um, send me an email if you wanna get more details, or book a meeting with me on TidyCal. Check out my Gumroad page, 
for uh, the whole chat GPT, um, automatic AI assistant, CMO course, bundle, whatever. Um, and um, yeah, I hope you liked it. Thank you.